Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, as another feature highlight we're going to take a look at the Windows 11 settings app that has been completely redone and looks like this now. So this is a big change when you compare it to what you have in Windows 10. The Windows 10 settings is a bunch of icons that brings you to a specific set of settings where the Windows 11 uh, settings app has now been pushed with categories on the left. The icons are still there with categories on the left and the main settings of that category on the screen. So here I'm on the system tab and here we have all the different options of the system tab. Same thing, you go to network and internet, you'll have all the managed stuff of network and internet with added details that are easy to see immediately. Data usage here, for example, um, 201 gigabytes of uh, online data that I've used. My network connection and, of course, where I'm connected, all the information is there, if I'm secured or not. So this is a different way of actually having the settings. Uh, I kind of like the fact that it's um, there's kind of a demonstration of certain things like personalization here, for example. Uh, there's you know an option at the top of selecting themes and stuff like that. Um, it kind of kind of nice. Each of course category has a subcategory so that you've got to um, click on a setting to go into that category. So for example, if I go into the system tab and I want to have more information about um, my battery and the power settings, well, there's an option for that and you click on it, it brings you to the next panel. And there's all sorts of little things that are added that were different or not there before. Um, you can see your battery level consumption here, for example, in the power and battery. There's, um, you know, each category that you go through will often have at the top some setting or some information about what you're doing. Uh, not every panel has that, but there is a lot of that depending on where you go, the storage and so on. Seeing the different amount of storage here in an easy to do way. Of course, it has to calculate all this space and is used and so on. So uh, it's a different panel. It's much different than the settings app in Windows 10. Uh, it is different to a point where I have had to use a lot of the search in the settings here to get to some of the settings that were for me common or easy to find in Windows 10. Uh, there are things that I've moved around a little bit and uh, of course we will look at the settings app uh, as time goes by for Windows 10 and Windows 11. I thought that I'd do pairing videos. Pairing videos, what I mean by that is I will actually, because I get a lot of requests of, you know, let's take a look at the settings in Windows 10. I'd like to learn more. And so what I could do is look at a certain set of settings in Windows 10 and then do the video of that certain set of settings in Windows 11 also at the same time. So people on Windows 11 will learn about the new settings panel. People on Windows 10 will learn about their own settings panel. Everybody will be happy. Because uh, here I'm in a, a little, <laughs> there's a, a little bit of, um, of ranting from some viewers that are saying, well, you know, you do a lot of Windows 11 videos. I don't have Windows 11, so, you know, um, it'd be fun if you do a lot of stuff for Windows 10. It's still the dominant system. Totally agree. Uh, and totally understandable, but there's two types of categories of people in the channel and a lot of people are interested in the new stuff also. So what probably what I'll do is pairing video. So a video about something in Windows 10, I'll do the same video about that same something, but in Windows 11 and the, the way that it's actually accessed in Windows 11 because it is different, so it will be okay. So you can choose your Windows 10 version of the video if you're in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So settings app. A big, big difference, as you see here, the way it is. There's some ranting and there's some stuff that we're not happy about that we'll talk about as we go through the panel also for Windows 11. Uh, some of the things that Microsoft has done, particularly with the apps 
section and uh, the uh, default apps, which is kind of complex to deal with compared to, you know, a lot of uh, what Windows 10 has. And so at the same time, we'll see the different panels. But the settings app is truly uh, completely redesigned in Windows 11. And of course, videos are coming up with more detailed look at what's in there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.